watch this guys watch how absolutely insanely pixel perfect this melee weaving is look at these little stutter steps moving in to melee and raptor strike in perfect time this video was leaked today by Veramos over on the Hunter Discord, so he might have something coming out on that as well. I'll have a link to his channels in the description, but this is some insane pixel perfect movement, and it is gonna create some absolutely unreal DPS. Some would say a little bit robotic, a little bit sus. Well, today we're gonna break this down for you guys, so sit back and enjoy. Recently, we're seeing some logs come out of people doing more DPS on single target fights than we thought was even necessarily possible at this point in the game, especially before we have full BIS for this phase. And I'm talking about things like doing 4K single target DPS over two minute fights and beyond that. So this led me to be intrigued. Someone sent me a log today on stream where a hunter was doing over 4,000 DPS on the Terran Gorfine fight. And I wanted to dive in and figure out how they were doing this and it actually leads to something very interesting and something that hopefully blizzard themselves will look into okay so this hunter is actually now rank one on overall damage throughout black temple in warcraft logs and he's actually beating the other person by almost 200 dps which is actually a rogue and this is a rogue with double glaives which was something i wanted to talk about and did talk about on stream quite a bit but this rogue was getting triple lusted and but absolutely pumping anyways this hunter right here the fight in question specifically that we're going to look at was the Terran Gorfine fight which is a two minute fight for them and you can see he's doing 4,010 dps and the hunter right behind him is also doing 3,600 dps while their survival right behind them is doing 2,900 dps and this is one of those fights where you can pump very hard especially if you get some good crit percentage and especially if you end up weaving in melees but the thing that looks interesting in this log is that the melee damage from this rank one hunter is actually higher than his auto shot damage and steady shot damage. Now that does include pet damage, but it's very, very rare to see this and it's actually kind of suspect. Also, if we look at the other two hunters in here, we can see that their melee damage is very high as well. So then if we dive into the log itself, we can see that the hunter is actually doing 29 melees and 15 raptor strikes for 78 auto shots and 53 steady shots. Now you could even see 78 and 53 being a sort of similar or kind of normal number that's with a little bit of clipping potentially, but that's kind of a normal number as you weave in multi shots and arcane shots, but he even got eight and eight of those off. So this means he's doing an insane amount of melee weaving, kind of something that's not necessarily human. So this leads us back to the original video that I showed at the beginning of this recording, where we're seeing some ridiculous melee weaving, some actual pixel perfect melee weaving, where you can't even tell that this is being played by a human because in all actuality, it isn't. That's the difference and that's what's going on here. Look how closely this person is moving in and out, getting melees and raptor strikes off in perfect timing without moving basically ever and we're gonna kind of try to figure out how this is happening so let's go back and look at what's actually going on here how are they doing this how are they pulling this off and how is this quote unquote legal well for one i don't really know if it technically should be quote unquote legal but anyways we're gonna look at how they're doing it so the way they're kind of going about this if you notice this in the bottom corner there is this weak aura potentially or script or add-on that is changing colors now actually i hadn't noticed this at first and this was actually sent to me it's basically an in-game add-on that can help you decide which spell will be needed to cast to maximize dps in the current situation and then the add-on outputs a different color block so if we look at those colors, it's changing, right? The colors mean the different spells to be used, and then AHK actually reads those and performs the actual actions. Now, first of all, you might be thinking, what is AHK? Now that is a program called Auto Hotkey that can be basically programmed to automate anything for you. So this is responding to the visual stimulus of those colors, and it is performing the actions. The actions also 
include moving in the slightest amount possible and moving back the perfect amount. You can see that the movement of this person is absolutely inhumane. Now, this is something that's kind of popping off and there's scripts for it as well as macros for it, as well as external add-ons for it that are really blowing up on the Chinese servers in particular right now, but may see their way over onto the Western servers. And if we don't kind of combat that and look into them, this could be something that kind of ruins a lot of the game for us. So if we go back, actually, you can see that one of the top suggested actual videos on here is a TBC Hunter using AHK with hands off the keyboard, eyes closed, and a perfect loop of rotation. This is also, by the way, on Billy Billy, the Chinese streaming service, kind of like YouTube and Twitch for, for China. And you can see that the weak aura is also gonna be detecting colors here. So I'm gonna move forward and it's gonna be performing a basically ideal rotation for this hunter outside of melee weaving. It's not the exact same one, but you can see that the colors here are changing them. Now, if I scroll forward, he actually opens up the weak aura himself and you can see the AHK script actually has the colors coordinated to different actions. It's blowing up on the Chinese servers. And like I mentioned earlier, it's now blowing up on the Hunter Discord. And everybody's kind of taking note because these people are now getting the highest parses possible on multiple boss fights. And it's kind of going to be impossible to compete with them unless you are utilizing this script. And one more time, I want to shout out to Veramos, who actually leaked this footage first and is actually kind of looking for more. So if you have more footage of this happening, please do send it over or post it on the Hunter Discord. Also, this is kind of a crazy thing to be happening, but hopefully Blizzard will do something about this and ban people using this. But this is how it's happening. This is how people are getting absolutely ridiculous numbers on different boss fights, especially things like 4,000 DPS plus, and this is only getting two less. Imagine if he was getting three blood less. How is it possible or fair to ever compete on parsing? Now, parsing in TBC is definitely kind of meme. It does depend on who's getting more bloodlust in your group composition, but this is kind of just breaking the mold and making it so that it's impossible to compete. And it's no longer something that's actually relatively fun. Anyways, guys, this was just brought to my attention today and I wanted to point this out. So I hope you all enjoyed the video and I will have a Black Temple parsing guide hopefully out next week that will ignore these kind of cheese cheats, but I will kind of bring them up, of course, within the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys all on the next one.